Hey, how's it going? John Park here. I got some requests from some people to show how you enter notes and how you enter in sequences uh, on the black box here. So what I'm going to do is clear out, I'll leave that sequence alone, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to a fresh sequence. You can clear them too, but this one's empty. Uh, so right now if I play this, we should get nothing. You can see the counter is going along there, but there's nothing in it. Uh, and this sequence is at the default of a 16 steps. So what I'll do is I've loaded up a uh, set, a preset here. And what we'll start out with is just a little drum beat. And so uh, what you can do is just hit play and record, it's going to count off and uh, then you can just play real time and then we'll go and look at those notes in there. And then you can layer it up. I don't like that one at all. So here's how you fix it. I'm going to hit stop uh, on the record, and then you can hit stop on the playback, or you can hit stop for both of them at the same time. And now I'm going to hit the sequences, hit info, uh, and now here's a note I don't want. I've got that extra snare happening right at the top, and I'm just going to tap that, turn it off. Okay, so now uh, if we head back over to the pads, we can try out some other sounds. Okay, so what I'll do, oh, I think I've got that one uh, muted over in the mixer. Bring those sounds back. If you're playing uh, a pad and you feel like, hey, that, that ought to be making sound, it's not. Either the level's down or it's muted over in the mixer, so check that. Uh, so back here, I think those are the same. Uh, what we can do is let's throw in a little bit of like a bass line with those. So I'll, um, you can either put that in a new sequence or keep it in the same one. I'll keep it in the same one. Okay. And if we go check, uh, whoops, if we go check over in the sequences now, these are our new additions to that. Right here. We can move this just to illustrate where they are. Now, these are just playing back the uh, sequence, or rather the samples, as they're recorded or as they've been repitched inside of the preset. Uh, but sometimes you'll want to take that sequence and actually play it on the little piano on here, or you can use a MIDI keyboard. We'll do it right on the screen. Uh, so how about we'll pick, who haven't I used? I don't think I've used that one. Uh, so that'll mean it can go on its own track, which is kind of nice without having to create a new sequence. And if I head to keys, now at uh, middle C is the sequence as recorded. But you can work your way up uh, maybe an octave in either direction or something like that. So let's use that sound, but up here. So now what I'll do is go back to record. And actually, let's make this, um, let's put this in its own sequence, actually, so that we can make it longer. So I'm going to come over here and make this a 32-step. OK, so now what I'm recording into is oh, this sequence here. 
and since that one is active with a white border around it, it's going to play. But the one that's pink here is the one I'll record into. Okay, so we'll go back over to our keys. You can just double check uh, that you're using the right sample there. We are. So I'm not going to record it first. I'm just going to figure out a pattern I like. Okay, something like that. So now I'll record it. Okay, I recorded over my own loop because it wasn't as long as I thought, but that's all right. So if we hit stop here and now look back over at sequences, uh, I can drill in and that's in pads mode. You can see it's just showing that we've got that sample being played, but in key, keys mode, uh, we can see it on the actual uh, notes of the piano. And here, uh, one cool thing here is we can use the uh, encoders to go from note to note, and we can nudge them up and down in the uh, keys like with that one. Yeah. So I'll do it while we're playing. So watch this one. This one actually can extend it. Oh, that one doesn't have any hold. It won't extend. I lie. I'm just going to move it. Okay, so now we got the two sequences that we've recorded new. Uh, let's head here. And let's bring in one I had recorded earlier. And that'll come in on the beat. Now you can just play the sequences in and out. There we go. And uh, so that is how you can do uh, some of the on-screen keys and on-screen uh, sequence cells as pads without using uh, outboard gear, without using a MIDI controller. Um, pretty cool. That's all you got to take with you is that tiny little thing. All right. Hope you enjoyed.